Good afternoon, Ali. Uh, great to have you on. Could you give a short introduction about yourself? Yeah, hello, how are you doing? I'm Ali, I'm a video editor. I have been editing for the past three months. I'm a student of the real world and I'm 15. You're 15? Yeah. Ah, you don't look 15. Okay, very cool. And what did you get into when you joined the real world? Is that when you started video editing or did you have video editing experience already? I have been editing for, I think, about six, three months. I didn't know anything about video editing. I had a YouTube channel before, but it was very basic editing. So I knew like how to edit and stuff, but I never had a client and I, I never knew how to make money off it. So about like three months ago, I was just like, I didn't know anything at all. So I just like started DMing a lot of people. And then suddenly one guy replied and I didn't even message him about video editing. He was like, uh, do you know how to edit video? I was like, I didn't know, but I was like, yeah, sure. Cause you know, you cannot let any work go. So I was like, maybe I'll try and I'll send you a video. And if you like it, we can move forward. And he actually liked the video. So I worked with him for about one week with that he didn't need any more content. Then after that, I got a lot, of, I think hundred dollars from that. So from there on, I knew I could make even more money off this. So I just started making edits. I started making take clips and stuff. And I actually started getting very good at it. So then I approached a lot of clients and I suddenly like landed one very big client in about like two weeks. And that was a very big payment for me. It was like around $280. And for that, for, for back then, it was a lot for me, as you can understand. So after that, it just started going up and then I and I still wasn't earning a lot. I was earning like 300. I only had like two clients. But then I came across the real world before I knew about the real world, but I was not really interested because I thought like I could not make money off this. But then I joined and after joining the amount of information that was in there was like extremely, it was a lot. And I suddenly like I started knowing what I have to do. And I've been in the real world for about 28 days and I have made about $1,000. Mm -hmm. As a 15 year old, okay, so first 1000, what country are you in? Uh, are you, do you, would you prefer not to reveal? No, it's fine. I'm from Dubai. Oh, from Dubai. Okay. So in terms of significance of that money, I mean, what have you planned what you'll do with that 1000? Yeah. So currently I'm building my own video editing agency i'm starting it off and i currently have six outreachers for working for me and two editors and it's helping me with a lot more time and now i'm starting i landed three clients in one single day and it started just it just it just keeps going up and i'm about to get super soldier in the real world thanks to the real world i have i have a lot more knowledge from business mastery freelancing i have made a lot of money from there so that's very good now my next step is to just keep growing my agency and just keep it running and get to a certain point that $10,000 per month. And how are you employing your team? Yeah. So currently they're on the outreachers are on a commission based, the editors, they get paid per month for the amount of videos they do. They get paid per month and that's about it for now. So at 15, you're already managing a video editing agency. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Where does that ambition for you come from? And how do other people your age react? Like, do you find people who are like-minded in Dubai or no? Not really. I'm currently just focusing on editing. I don't really like, you know, go out that much anymore. So I'm just primarily focusing on video editing, trying to expand everything. But I have met a lot of like-minded people in the real world, not a lot in Dubai, because it's very hard because not a lot of people are here that really want to start up a business or get into video editing. But in the real world, I've found a lot of people that I could relate to. And it's good to have someone like, you know, same as you, so you can move faster. So it's it started off like just being, I wanted to get into kickboxing and I wanted a way to get the money and get myself into a gym. So I just I just did it because of that. So then I kept going, I kept working, and then now I'm gonna probably get into a kickboxing gym in about like one month. So that's the goal. That was the goal from the start. Okay, interesting.
And how different is your average day now then compared to before you joined the Real Watch? Before, I was like, I used to just play like all day, like video games and stuff. But since joining the Real World, I knew that I could do a lot more. And with that amount of time, I could make even more money. Um, currently, I just I start up around that 1 p.m. and I work until like 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. At 12, until 12 a.m. or something like that, 1 a.m. I start, uh, stop work at that time, then I sleep. And then I wake up again and just keep repeating. It's, it's been busy, but it's, it's been good. Interesting. And how's school? Are you currently on summer holiday? Uh, yeah, in Dubai, yeah. So I'm currently doing online. So, so I have plenty of time to work and stuff. So online has been a very good way to just free up my time and stuff. So I'm currently doing online. Okay. And what was the biggest challenge you faced when you were first starting out with video editing and acquiring clients? Yeah. So the biggest challenge was because I didn't know anything about video editing and reaching clients. I didn't know how to find them. I didn't know what to do. So that was a very big, very, very big thing I had to face. And then I just like started people I knew, the video editors that were experienced. I just started messaging them and I was like, how do I find clients? But obviously no one reviews their tricks, right? So they would just say like, you know, just go on Instagram, just scroll through the reels and stuff. But that wasn't good enough. I couldn't find a lot of clients nor accounts to DM. So that was a very big factor. <clears throat> so what would you say have been the biggest insights you've learned from your time within the real world? Yeah, so the biggest ones have been networking and learning how to approach clients. That has been a massive thing. And growing my Twitter, that has impacted my editing and stuff a lot. Like it took me like on, onto new levels because like I didn't I didn't think before like having a good account was worth it. But then when I like made my account professional, I started getting DMs from people. I didn't have to reach out to people anymore. So I I barely like reach out to people anymore. I, people usually just DM me. So yeah. Nice, good. And why did you choose the freelancing campus when you joined the real world instead of any of the other options? Yeah, because because freelancing for me, I th I thought it was the best option because like I could work remotely, and for the other ones like stocks, for example, I suppose you need money to start up. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I haven't yeah. looked at it a lot, but obviously I think you need a bit investment or something. And video editing was something that I could work in from anywhere in the world, and freelancing was the best option. So, uh, anything else from freelancing campus that you can that comes to mind that helped you? Yeah, the ask to ask Dylan. Uh, channel is super it's extremely good it helps a lot because obviously like you can ask Dylan anything because like I usually like if I'm struggling to follow up with someone I just like put in the chat that Dylan how can I do this and it has helped me massively mm -hmm. and what about the community within the real world did they have any kind of impact yeah it's actually like super popular if you're feeling down if you're not feeling motivated you can just go and like you'll come across people like you basically who try who want to try and make money so that's where the community is very good and did you go through the wins channels at all did that have again did that affect you in any way yeah i saw like people winning and stuff people making money through flipping people making through money through a lot more things so yeah that definitely pushed me more and i started posting my wins and like i just kept getting motivated that i if, I, if that person can make three thousand dollars why can't i Okay, good. So yeah, good to hear you had the positive community experience that they motivated you as well for the wins channel and just interactions in general. And since you're on this trajectory now, where do you see your life heading in the short term, medium term, long term? What plans do you have? Yeah, so I want my agency to get expand a bit more. I want to get to the top. I want to get around like 10 video editors so I don't really have to edit anymore. I still kind of edit for like I profile like for our profile clients. So I just want to get to a certain point where I'm earning like $10,000. Like I think I can possibly achieve that in the coming year. Okay, perfect. And is that then the only goal or could you break it down into short term, medium term, long term? No, it's, it's, it's a long term goal for now. What about when we do a follow up in three months? What's your goal for then? Yeah. For, um, in, the, in three months, I'm currently only a certified freelancer. I want to get to a super soldier. You have to earn $5,000. And I'm 
positive, I can do that the next by the next month. Okay, perfect. So yeah, we'll hold you accountable to that when we do a follow up, and we'll see how you're doing. So now on a more personal note. Has Andrew Tate had any kind of impact on you? And what actually made you decide to join the real world? Yeah, obviously, like I came across his profile when he first started. I have known him for about a very long time since his kickboxing times because he was very big those, those years. Yeah, he was the best kickboxer in the world. So I knew him before that as well. But I didn't know like a lot. I didn't follow him on any platforms. But when I used to watch kickboxing, I came across him like... I, I think he retired when I still started watching him. He had like his final fight in 2016, 17, something like that. I came across it on YouTube. So from then on, then he appeared on my For You page, I think in late 2020, if I'm not wrong. He appeared back and then he started promoting Kassel's University. So at first I was like, why do I need it for? I don't really need it. But then after the real world came, I started seeing people winning and stuff, making money. I was like, I was still thinking about it because then I didn't have any money to join. So then once I landed that client, I started going, I started improving. But then I was like, what can real world offer offer me? Because it's really like $49. You can spend that much money on the game and you get bored after two days. So I thought it that way. I joined and and it was truly amazing. It's not worth $49. It should be like, you know, at least 200 or more. Mm -hmm. So... But yeah, they want to make it accessible to everyone. And as you can see, you joined because of that, and now you're getting a lot of value from it. So that's the whole purpose. Has the real world had any kind of impact on your physicality as well in that one month? As a lot. Like, I started, I was going to the gym before as well, but I didn't have a lot more, a lot of knowledge. But obviously, like, there's a specific fitness channel, and it has helped a lot because, like, you know, uh, I can learn about, I can del- uh, directly ask Alex for any like advice on fitness and stuff. I was I was struggling to lose body fat, but then since I joined, I have reduced massively. I have gained even more muscle, tracking of my nutrition and stuff, so it has helped a lot. And I, I just noticed there is like another fight, a fighting channel in there, in the real world. There's a new tab. So that has helped a lot. You can connect with people. You can be like, you can message other fellow fighters who are fighting currently. So that's very good i can learn more about because like i haven't done kickboxing before i have done karate i was a black belt in it so but i haven't done kickboxing as of yet so i'm thinking of getting into it very soon and then that channel will definitely help me a lot because like i suppose fighting nutrition when you're fighting you need a different kind of nutrition and stuff i might be wrong but like so that will definitely help a lot good good so yeah, that's all my questions for you. Uh, good to hear that the real world has had such a positive impact. For people who are still unsure about joining, maybe they could be thinking it could be a scam for the $50. What advice would you have to them? Yeah, my advice would be like, it's pretty simple. You can spend $50 on literally like KFC if you just eat it for one month. You can spend that $50 on a game membership. It's really not that much. If you think about it, it's... If you don't even make money by and at, at the end of the day, which you will if you put in the work, it's fifty dollars. You're learning so much more about business that you can implement it even in your job if you want. You can become a better employee if you want. And fifty dollars really not that much. If you just you know stop going out for one month, I'm sure you can save that much. Mm-hmm. All right. So it's like there's it cannot be a scam because like they're offering knowledge and like if a scam would be like. You just pay and then you never hear back. You never get access to anything. Even if I were to pay $50 for the community, it's still very good. I can learn so much more about other people, what they're doing. I can, the higher student staff has helped me find student, um, employees from this, that channel. So that has been good. And I can provide them a testimonials. I can provide them. So it's very good. And they they already know the basics, like how to approach clients and stuff. So that's amazing. Okay, good. Okay, so for people who want to find out more about you or contact you, where can they do so? Yeah, you can do it on Twitter. My Twitter is Muhammad Ali Najib. It's just like that. And my Instagram is a for ali dot underscore. Okay, so I'll add those to the description of the video. 
anyone interested, check it out. And yeah, Ali, look forward to doing a follow-up with you in about three months. Until then, I wish you all the best. You too. See you, bro.